Okay, kids, settle down. I hope you all did your homework. You will be presenting your future profession to everyone. Welcome back, Mia. What can I do for you? What is the best future profession for me? You are a kind girl who loves to help others, so you would make a great nurse, a great social worker. And the first student to present her future profession is Mia. The profession I chose is, by the way, one of great responsibility. I want to be a nurse. <laughs> Why did you choose the wrong profession for me? I am an AI chatbot. My answers are based on information from the internet, combined with what I already know about you. I was embarrassed in front of everyone. I can't even stand seeing blood. All my friends know that. I'm sorry if my answer disappointed you. Can I ask what you were looking for? I would love to get it right for you. I just want to do my homework. Can't you give me an answer that predicts my future and fits my personality better? Well, no. I can't predict the future. No? How come? I'm a chatbot created with artificial intelligence. A domain of computer science that tries to mimic human brain abilities, such as playing chess. Playing chess? Exactly. Machine learning is a field within AI that learns from examples. It finds patterns in data. Like chess moves? Checkmate, Mia! And by using neural networks algorithms, computers can gain information and learn more deeply. That field is called... Deep learning. We learned it in computer class. Correct. And generative AI is a special part of deep learning that doesn't just recognize patterns, but also creates new things, like pictures or stories. Because it has seen so many examples Please that... Please stop! This is way too much information. <sighs> I just need to find a nice profession to present again in the class. I think it's better if you see an AI chatbot from the inside. <sighs> is this you? It is a large language model. Sort of a giant word predictor. So, when I ask you about future professions, you... I gave you an answer by trying to guess the next word on a sentence, based on my training data. <laughs> Look at my prompts! Hey, why all the stereotypes? My answers are based on online data. They can indeed include stereotypes or biases that exist on the internet. AI has remarkable benefits, from personalizing education to tracking deforestation in real time, and even helping humans detect regional accents in dolphin communication. However, AI also has limitations, including repeating bias and hallucinations, the name used for making things up. Hallucinations? Hallucinations. Good morning, class. We'll continue with the presentations. Mia, you want to try again? <sighs> to be honest, I haven't made my decision yet. I'm really not sure about what job I want to have in the future. I tried to find an answer using an AI chatbot, but still, I honestly don't know. So, I decided to do a presentation about a world that is going through a fast transformation. And being part of a future that is uncertain can be nerve-wracking, especially for us, I guess. So, I asked the AI chatbot what professions will be relevant in the future, and I found out there are plenty, from the creative and mental health professions to teachers and skilled trades. But I understood that AI cannot predict my future. And no matter what profession I choose, I'm pretty sure that I want to be part of a future where human contact is important, where I can help others and make the world a better place. Thank you.